So this is a really interesting question. Uh, there's been multiple observations that the eosinophilic GI disorders and eosinophilic esophagitis in particular have been increasing a lot over the last one to two decades. Two or three decades ago, these disorders were unknown. When I was in training, they were unknown and essentially case reportable. But over the last 10 years for eosinophilic esophagitis, we've seen more and more cases. And the question is, are we just better aware of it? We're looking for it more. There's more uh, articles about it. And how do we sort that out? So um, I'll talk first about eosinophilic esophagitis. At multiple centers throughout both the U.S. and around the world, people have seen that eosinophilic esophagitis is more common and being diagnosed more frequently. And if you go back and look 20, 30 years ago, you really didn't see very many cases. So it does seem to be truly increasing. Now, also we know that the number of articles written about this are increasing quite a lot. Um, and that could explain it. And there's been a little bit of research looking at it. One way you can see is it just increasing diagnosis or actually increasing incidence is you could standardize the number of cases by the number of endoscopies or, or biopsies that are performed. And if you do that, you do see a nice increase in the number of endoscopies and procedures that are performed, but the increase in the eosinophilic esophagitis far outpaces that. So it seems like there's actually a true increase in the eosinophilic uh, esophagitis incidence and prevalence. Now, for the other non-eosinophilic esophagitis EGIDs, we don't know as much. They are very rare, and so we haven't had enough numbers of cases to really know whether they're ch changing and increasing or just staying at the same level.